Welcome to Talk of the Town, everyone. Are we ready for some football? Yes! yes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we have Daniel Court with us, and we also have uh, Marcus Walsh. Marcus, of course, is play-by-play. -play. Daniel is color commentator. Commentary, I guess. Whatever. And we, and we have I just talk. <laughs> we, just, we have our first football game this Friday night, which is August the 18th. Yeah. It seems a little early, it's, but I guess not. We've done it in August before. We're going back to that. Um, right. We'll see how things go in, in other years, but we've got a great first game, John Paul II right. and Thomas Hayward Academy at JP2 Friday night, and JP2 is one of the teams out of Skiza that I'm really looking forward to seeing. So what is Skiza? Skiza is the independent league of high schools. It's the private schools. The private schools. With the churches and whatnot. Okay. The high school league is obviously the public schools. We will see a couple of Skiza games first with... Uh, H uh, with THA and JP2, and then next week we'll have Hilton Head Prep and Buford Academy. As far as this game goes, Daniel, I really expect a good one. Um, we'll see how things <laughs> shake out, but JP2 has Christian Tilton. You've got two young coaches in their rookie seasons. Now, who a lot is of Christian up and, Tilton? Up and coming, going. He, he might be one of the one of the best we, we talked about last year. You know, you, there, you have football players and you have athletes. Um, yeah. Christian Tilton is the kind of athlete that you okay. could put in any sport, and really? he, would, he would he would thrive. But you know, he's. I think Marcus said he he was their star player last year, one of the best players in the area. He will and, be again, and he's packed on some pounds. He, I saw him at media day, and he looks is, like he's put on about twenty pounds. Is he a senior? Or so he this is. Year? He is a senior. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's he's a guy to really look out for. He can run. He can throw Good the field football. general. Yeah. This. These two teams have so many great young athletes and actually a battle of brothers as uh, you've, you've got Snyder, Caleb Snyder, who's the quarterback of THA, and his brother plays defense for JP2. So that's a, so that's a matchup to look out for. So that's going to be an interesting game. Let's hope Caleb, the, the weather's Stories not. within stories. We're stories always looking for stories, those. A bunch right? of them. We'll, we'll talk about them all season long, <laughs> team to team. And then... HHP and, then next week, and BA. Yeah, talk about that for us. Well, H, uh, Hilton Head Prep is, is a young team with a young coach. We covered a lot of their games last season, and, you know, they're building a program again. Right. And, you know, that's what you have to do in, in, in high right. school. You have to, right. you know, recycle a lot mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. athletes graduate and they move on. But right. uh, I really expect, you know, they've got, a, got a, a quarterback that was a freshman starter last year, so he's bringing some experience. Wyatt Harmer is his name. A big mm -hmm. kid, very physical, good arm. Um, so expect prep to perform better this year. Buford Academy is going to be a tough test. Buford, Buford Academy, uh, Hilton Head Christian Academy, and JP2 are the three teams that I'm looking forward to seeing most in skis of this year. I think Buford Academy has a chance to expand on what they did last year right. and win win state. Well, well the heritage from cool. you know the, the the heritage of success from Thomas Hayward, Coach Nick Shuford, and his son Dietrich, who's quarterback. They have moved over from Thomas Hayward to Buford Academy. They're with, loaded. With Mark Clifford still on the staff. So a bunch of running backs coming back. Buford Academy is going to be dangerous. Okay, very and good. And they've got a lot of athletes returning. So uh, that, that will be, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out over the season. But. What I love about our station is that we are so involved in local, local correct, sports. Correct, correct. You guys know your stuff. Yes. You've been doing it for a long time. Certainly. And you work together. And hopefully we can bring in some theater. And, <laughs> and you're, you're, work, he's a singer. I don't know if you all know this. He's a singer. He's a on, actor, whatever. On music, getting folks involved <laughs> with sponsorships. We still need sponsors, so mm -hmm. contact the station. The number's on the screen. Um, but we've so, got a host of great sponsors already signed up, too. Absolutely. A lot of returning sponsors. I Thanks think Summit, to everybody. Summit Services is Summit, as our, as our presenter. presenter. Okay. Yep. presenter. Very, yep. very good. So are we looking at a big, good season, yeah, guys? Yeah. Real quick, I, I think three teams to look forward to in the high school league. You've got Beaufort coming off a state championship in 8-3A. Okay. You've got Hilton Head kind of laying in the weeds. I think they have a chance to sneak up and have EJ some Bain always has a few tricks up his sleeve. And, then, yeah. and yep. then you can't forget Bluffton and the great stuff that they did last year. We've got a great crew. Kevin Libby's going to be part of our right. crew doing a bunch of stuff for football this year. And Buford, you know, they lost a lot of players to graduation on that okay. championship team. But Coach Bl Bryce Libran is arguably the most successful coach in South, the state of South Carolina over the last two years. Right. I'm surprised we haven't lost him to a big college yet. But right. uh, Buford's still a threat in that division in 3A. So. Yeah. Okay, and you say that Hilton Head, you know, my daughter teaches at Hilton Head High. I, I yeah. was there BJ, yesterday. B.J. Payne and Hilton Head are going to be, be good better. Too. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, maybe I'll go to a game. 
You better. <laughs> Robin? You better, especially if the theater's involved. That's right. Daniel Court, thank you so much, and Marcus Walsh, our great team, soon. our sports team for college, not college, high school. It's time for kickoff, baby. <laughs> right. Thank you, Thanks, Robin. Guys. Thanks, Robin.